Tell us, the beautiful one. Yes. About your greenhouse, give us the full mega tour. First, why a greenhouse or what are you using your greenhouse for? So mainly I'm using this greenhouse to start plants to transplant out into for for us to then garden. What's the advantage of that? Um well it's a central location to start all your seeds and have everything that you need for that and you don't have to be um, like starting them indoors and or a, a smaller greenhouse I guess. You get a head start on the season yeah. because they can be growing in here and it's frosting outside right now Right. when they couldn't be growing outside. And they, and they get the right amount of light yeah. too. So it's overall the right okay. um, climate, temperature, sunlight for them yeah. to get what they need and you don't have to really fuss a whole lot. I mean you okay. have to do some things but it's not like intensive as if you are using grow lights. That's yeah. a little bit more intensive. So we're going to talk about the stuff that you're growing in here but, but first just to get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. People are wanting to know where did you yes. get these plants? Okay so I found these plants online at Anna White. Um, if you just google Anna White we can greenhouse. leave the links in the show notes too. You, yes, we'll leave the links in the show notes. Okay, so we modified the plans though. So we made it longer. It would, it would, I think it would have stopped it here. Mm. So we made it um, a couple feet longer. Yeah. We added in vents. I got the vents and the solar openers at Charlie's Greenhouse. Um, you can get different sizes and actually that's something I need to do. I need to order two more events for right there. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. The so problem is it gets that. too hot. Yes. Yeah, so in the White summer, so in the summer yeah, it gets too, um, it gets too warm in here to start your fall crops. Yeah. So, um, so you need to do that in July. Correct. It's like 180 when degrees it's in here. very hot in here. So, um, we we have those plants and then i also bought a um a shade cloth that reflects the sun but it lets light it lets light in it reflects the heat sorry um and so that's actually i got an email that that is on its way so, oh good because it was custom so it's yeah custom so on. it was a, it was a custom okay thing. so so um what is these plants yeah so well i should say this we used cedar on the inside yeah because um it is rot resistant and there is a lot of water in here eventually i think i do want to hook up some sort of misting system too so that they get automatically misted that's like years away but it's something that i would like to do um and then these um tables are all cedar and um, eventually, maybe one day too, we'll like rig up some sort of shelf up here if I need it. Yeah. <laughs> Justin's like, no, no more. It's stacking up in here, isn't it? It is. There is a problem. We do have some weeds coming up to the gravel. We do. And, um, and I think I realized yesterday what for sure we did wrong. The weed cloth, the weed barrier. Yeah, we used a cherry weed barrier. Yeah, the weed barrier wasn't a, a, a strong enough weed barrier. We've recently found a much nicer one. I think what I want to do in here, which it's going to be like a lot of work, but I think overall it will be really nice when it's done. And I need to talk to my parents about it because my dad used to do this. But um, I want to put concrete on the floor. Okay. And I think that would be good too because it would You're hold really the heat too. really grinding it into me, aren't you? <laughs> you really just... My dad was, concrete. my dad did concrete. That was his, that was his like specialty. On Next the thing you know, we're gonna have heat and cool in here. No, <laughs> no, but eventually I want to concrete this. I want to put some concrete in some All other right. places too. Maybe our driveway, things like okay. that. First, I'm gonna talk about the trays and how, what, how we grow, what we grow in them. So this year I exper experimented with these. They're compostable. Um, trays that you just put soil in and then the seeds. I found that I don't really like them. I definitely prefer the other way that we've been doing it, which is soil box. So this is a, you can get in there. Why do you not like them? They, they fall apart and they're just, uh, it's just harder when like I didn't have great germination in this one. 
And then I'm like, I feel like this is all a waste. Okay. Um, because it didn't, the, the seeds didn't germinate for whatever reason. Okay. So it just, I just, and they don't fit as well in our trays that we already okay. have. So just explain, and you don't have to show, but just. You have your soil blocker. Yeah, so I have a soil blocker. I have. It's one piece of metal. Um, our soil. This is our soil bin. Yeah. And you go in and you. You moisten that. It's you, basically yeah, it's a potting of, mix. Yes, this is the potting mix. Store bond. And then there's that. That's okay. What it looks like. Nice. And then here, I'll see right here. And then. Yeah. Good. You, you fill these up. These are wooden trays that you've built to just Correct. accommodate it perfectly. Yes, I built, I, I built them. Yeah. <laughs> I said you. No, I didn't build them. You built them. That's why I'm laughing. Oh, I built them. Yeah. So, oh, okay. And Thanks. They are, they, Thanks for the credit. You're welcome. They fit um, 36 blocks per tray. And then um, I just use masking tape to mark what it is and I kind of tell like this one this is lettuce Cimarron romaine in three rows and then it's butter crunch in three rows and it's Jericho lettuce in three rows so then that just kind of tells me what I need to know I have um, obviously different degree levels of plants in here this this is straw flower um, this is flowers we got straw flower cosmos and snapdragons they're all ready to transplant out. We're just kind of waiting on the weather to get a little bit better. Spring is trying to hold on for as long as possible. Um, these are tomatoes, and let's see. I marked each one of these. You did put different. those in the biodegradable. So I did. I up potted these to the biodegradable because it's a little bit easier with tomatoes um, and peppers. I pot up the ones that maybe need a little bit longer in the greenhouse, like tomatoes and peppers, um, or. Um, like if a zucchini gets too big or I or like it was kind of um, some pumpkins that I I planted really big pumpkins they were outgrowing the, the the plants around them because they got so big so fast so those I kind of I did that with but here I, I didn't have good germination with my sunflowers this year this is the first year I haven't had good germination um, so I have Velvet Queen on this side and Lemon Queen on this side I only got one Lemon Queen and I only got three Velvet Queens. Um, oh, it looks like I might be getting another one of the Velvet Queen. So, I don't know what happened. Here, I up potted my peppers. So I have four big reds, and then the rest were Orange King. I, my Orange King really came through for me. And this is another big red. I need to put over here that I, that came up. Sunflowers. This is the Teddy Bear Sunflower. So they're kind of small. And uh, again, I didn't have good germination rate. I only got like six. Sad. Marigolds. These two trays are full of marigolds. I love marigolds. Um, I just love, they're super easy to grow, although I didn't have great germination rate either on this tray for whatever reason. But my lemon gems, it smells so good. Can you smell that from there? Mm -mm. Just move it. And it's so nice to walk through the garden in the summer and just smell that you kind of walk past it and if you brush it or the wind is blowing you can it smells actively so it's just a really fun I actually planted more of those <laughs> um this is zinnias this is what I, I already transplant a part of this tray um out next to the chickens and i'm gonna plant more of these soon i'm gonna plant these soon um Let's see. These are tomatoes that I up potted. I had some. I got four Arkansas trailer travelers and six giant bunch of grapes, which I'm extremely impressed with these seeds. These seeds are from like 2015 and they all germinated. Next table. Okay, so these ones I just actually um, seeded not too long ago. Um, this whole tray is zinnias because I didn't have good germination in my other zinnias that I planted. And then um, here I planted parsley. I need more parsley in my life. Um, I planted daisies and then more marigolds. So this is Aztec marigolds and this is daisy flowers and then a one little line of parsley. Okay, so these zinnias are coming up, which I'm very excited about. I already got some good germination going on in here. Yes. I love zinnias in the garden. There's just something about the beauty. I just love flowers and vegetables mixed together. There's just something about it. And I feel like 
it doesn't take that much extra to plant flowers in with your vegetables and it just adds joy and then you can cut them all summer long and it's just beautiful so this is calendula this obviously I didn't have good germination rate but what I did have good germination rate is is already in my herb garden where I keep them while I didn't have good germination rate here um, I had I've planted calendulas for several years now and they have reseeded themselves in the garden bed that I always plant them in so it's okay that I didn't have great germination rate right here because I've already got a ton of plants growing um, at this at this level actually this isn't these these two aren't even I had some weed seeds in my um, <laughs> my potting soil mix so I've been having a weed in there get so I only have let's see those three aren't so I only have one two three four five calendulas that came up in that one okay so I'm retrying my hand at some more sunflowers so I've got mammoth gray stripe on this side and lemon queen on this side and we're gonna see what happens I have a little I have a couple coming up of the mammoth gray sunflower I love to plant those along my fence line and they get really tall and they're just beautiful this is the tray that I had up potted some from already so I had um, peppers here and all the ones germinated um, so I already up potted those and then I had planted the Atlantic giant pumpkin which is actually right here um, I am hoping to grow me a big pumpkin this year we're gonna milk feed it just like uh, Little House on the Prairie farmer boy book and we're gonna see what we get. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and then in the other part of the tray, I have um, a slicing cucumber. It's called, it's the muncher variety. So I'm going to, um, as soon as I can, get them out. Um, I have some fun stuff to do with them. I'm gonna have, I'm experimenting with some things there. And then here, um, the, the big Atlantic giant pumpkin, which again, I'm impressed with these seeds. Um, the seeds were from like 2015 and I got at least three germinate and there's a fourth one right there trying to germinate. So that's, that's, that's good. Um, this, this is some um, watermelons and that's a cantaloupe. This is the only one out of the entire tray that germinated of the pack of seeds. So I did a tray that looked like this and I only had one plant come up <laughs> so yeah there it is and then um, I've got this is moon and stars and then this one's crimson it's sweet watermelon. watermelons okay. this is a new variety I've never planted these flowers oh. before um, this is lup lupin lupine and then daisies I only got two of each so we're gonna see what happens there um, when they flower and what they look like and all that um, we've just never done it so uh, more calendulas this one germinated a little bit better than my last one again I'm not sure if it's the germination because of these trays or or what I just the the pots I, I just didn't have good germination rates in those pots I don't know if it's the seeds or the pots I have no idea here's my zinnias um, California Giants mix and the State Fair again I didn't have good germination rate um, these a lot of these are weeds actually in here this is weed <laughs> and weed I got maybe like four plants out of here um, it's a, it's dry because I haven't actually watered it this morning um, but yeah I didn't get many but I've got more zinnias growing down there and so we'll be just fine this is my mammoth gray stripes again not good germination rate um and these are the sunspot dwarf sunflowers they're like really cute and little and I, they're just i love to ha i love sunflowers they're one of my favorite flowers so here i've got some different things going on i've got um some pole beans for the kids to make a teepee I have the bamboo um, stakes over there that I just got and so we're trying to we're gonna start some and we'll put that up when these germinate then I've got parsley cilantro oregano and radicchio um, growing in this one so radicchio is like a salad a lettuce 
And then oregano, cilantro, and parsley. Everybody knows. Uh, this, I have, I, I'm not having great germination rate in my squashes. I've got spaghetti squash, butternut, and acorn squash. Um, and we'll see. I actually replaced the acorn squashes because none of them were coming up. At least my butternut and spaghetti are starting to germinate. Um, I've got spaghetti squash there and the, these are butternut that are starting. I've got my yellow. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk about this one. So this is dill, um, dill, a, a tulsi, and a zucchini. And I already got the zucchini out and planted it in my garden. Um, I only got one out of eight to germinate and then um, the Tulsi so this is why it's kind of looking rough because I had to get the zucchini out of there this is where I've got my yellow squash germinating hoping we get one plant out of four blocks and then um, I've got Connecticut field pumpkins wildwood pumpkins and Jack B. Little pumpkins so we can I just love, that's another thing. I love to grow flowers and pumpkins. Um, obviously, pumpkins, you can eat them, but they're also a decoration. And so I just love having um, a, <laughs> we've, got, we've got a visitor. I love having just beautiful things around the farm. Um, more flowers, um, hollyhocks. I've got a couple of them coming up. And then a birdhouse gourd, which those seeds are really old, so I didn't, <gasps> I actually did get one to come up. Wow, look at that. So oh, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens there. And then this is lemon gem uh, marigolds over here um, coming up. And I do have some germinating out of here. So that's good. More of my favorite marigolds. <laughs> this one I started basil. And then I got two more rows of cucumbers because you can never have enough cucumbers. And then this is beans. Um, these are Blue Lake Bush Beans, one of my favorite beans. I just love their flavor. Okay, so I bought some plants at the garden store the other day, and this is um, one jalapeno. We don't eat a lot of spice in our family. Um, we're, we like a more mild flavor. <laughs> And so we're just going with one. We've actually never grown jalapenos before. This is the first time. And we're going to see how it goes. And I think one plant will do is just fine. Um, and then I ended up getting some sun gold. So these three are sun gold tomatoes. One tomatillo. Here I had tried to grow, I had tried to germinate jalapenos. But again, my seeds are really old. So I'm thinking that that was probably my problem there. And then I have one row of stupus tomatoes. Um two rows of cherry sweetie two rows of chadwick terry tomatoes which i did get one to germinate because for some reason none um i planted cherry tomatoes with that group and none of them germinated it's so strange um and they were new seeds so it's not like um they were old so and even old seeds germinate because i have some that germinated just fine so um and then I did a uh, Marconi red sweet pepper and then doe hill pepper. Those seeds were really old and I was just kind of experimenting to see if they would even germinate because I'm going to toss them if they don't. Um, but I thought, why not? My kids love um, bell peppers. So it's nice when they start fruiting and the kids are hungry and they say, go in the garden and get you a snack. You had no problem germinating lettuce no so this lettuce is called muir and it is actually a summer lettuce it does really well in the summer in the heat um i got those seeds at johnny seeds casey from honey tree farm is the one who told me about that lettuce so this is my first year growing that lettuce so i'm hoping to do some more succession planting of that lettuce so that we can have lettuce all summer long um it's normally in the heat it bolts and yeah. gets bitter when the in the heat of summer it just doesn't lettuce is very difficult in the heat but that's also one of my experiments that i have going um i'm going to plant some lettuce underneath a trellis of cucumbers and we're gonna hopefully see if that the shade keeps 
keeps it from bolting. I've got more dill because you just can never have enough dill in your life. And then two rows of pumpkins. And I don't remember what variety of pumpkin that is, but we'll see. I think it might be the small pumpkin pie. I normally write the variety, but apparently I didn't on this one. All right, so here are cucumbers. So this variety is called homemade cucumbers, and I really, really like them because they um, are perfect for fermenting. And they, um, we, we grew several different varieties of um, cucumbers last year to kind of give a, give a test. And I liked the way that the homemade cucumbers fermented the best. And so I'm gonna grow exclusively homemade cucumbers and we're gonna ferment them all into pickles. So then I have some more herbs in this one. I have sage growing here, thyme and basil. And here I have more watermelon because we didn't have, this is all completely new packet, but for whatever reason, I'm just having a hard time germinating them. I'm wondering if they're better direct seeded, which I'll probably direct seed some watermelons to see if we get some to come up that way. And then um, mammoth, mammoth gray striped sunflowers. Again, you can never have too many sunflowers. And then here is lettuce. And that, this lettuce is from my experiment underneath the cucumbers and we're going to see if we can keep lettuce growing all year round. Yeah. So that is yeah. all that I have right now growing um, in the greenhouse. Yeah. And I look forward to getting it out into the raised beds and the crop gardens in the coming weeks. Also a bit of storage information in here. You know, yes. you got some trellises for beans. We got more trays we got some biochar and some soil blocking this is from a local source this is just coco loco that's pretty much national you saw her tray there more storage we have a four inch soil blocker if you want to pot up to just a, a soil blocker there's also a um there's also a mini soil blocker yeah. that is that size it's even more of efficient block with right the, there the, the moisture yes but you know we we don't have time for that necessarily, so we'll we'll take some less efficiency just to pot up to the two inch blocker. Right. You got some more biodegradable stuff. You got yeah. some watering cans. These are cans. the larger ones that I think I'll keep buying. The smaller ones mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'll not buy. And you have a heat mat if you wanted to germinate your tomatoes on a on a on a heat mat, you could yeah. do that. It is 45 degrees in here. No, I think that's wrong. Is it? I it feels like 45 degrees in here. It is. It's kind of chilly. I only think it's 45 degrees outside. Mm. Maybe what do you think it's it was, colder. It was the wind. No, it was. I think a little bit warmer. It was the wind that was causing the problem. So Rebecca, I gotta give you a big old hug because each one of these plants. Well, how much <laughs> did you pay for that? It was three dollars. Three dollars. So each one of these plants is three dollars. You estimate how many right now? Estimate how oh, many gosh. plants are in here. Are there easily over 350? I think there's over 350 plants. Well, How many are in each tray? 36 in each tray of the soil block. So 10 trays would be 360. So how many trays we got in here? Well, I know you don't have all germination. And, so and because we're just like, making an estimate. These are, this is a single plant because you can get a four pack of like basil. All right. Well, like we're just going to make a rough estimate of how much money is saved in here. Back. So yeah. we have 36, <clears throat> 10, 10, 10 things. One, two, three. Can't count them all because they're not all germinating. Four, five. Sick. I mean, there's, there's, I don't know, there's 20, 30 trays in here, honey. This is well over a thousand dollars saved, if not two thousand. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's a lot of work, but in this it's work, you'll grow in July. You'll grow again in July. Yes. You had more in here earlier. Um, yeah, because we already transplanted so, all the kale, collards, lettuce, spinach, cabbage, yeah. broccoli, cauliflower. Yeah. I mean, we've already, and, we've already. Transplanted quite a bit. What out I'm into getting the out here is what this this greenhouse is nice. It costs what two thousand dollars? I think three thousand. Three thousand? Yeah. Okay. Well, you are you have a thousand dollars worth of veggie veggie and that's plants right here. Just this year. <laughs> so it I does. dare say we probably well and that's paid just, for this thing in year one. But no, so that's these are mainly just summer crops. But like, what are about the spring crops that I, I already did in the fall? Because so know. like, yeah, you pay for You're it pretty about quickly. Three thousand dollars easily saved in one year. And then, I mean, like this, you know, like it costs to build all these trays. But we've been using some of these trays oh. for like. 
12 yeah, years. Yeah, you got to buy the soil <laughs> for it, I but mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's marginal. Yeah. And you got to buy the seeds, but gosh, you can buy hundreds of seeds for $3. Yeah. So, so it's definitely, it's definitely, it's a definite upfront cost that you have to, you know, put your money into. But then from then on out, you save, um, mm -hmm. you save all this money. I know because I couldn't go to the plant sales and buy everything that I wanted to grow. So having a greenhouse whether it's just like a hoop house or whether it's something more like this yeah. is definitely worth the and time and effort. It allows you to put more in the ground because you get a head start on the season and you can grow things for the fall while you have still stuff out in the garden. Yeah, I'm really excited this year. I feel like we've like every year we get a little bit more established and it makes it a little bit easier every single year. Mm -hmm. Like last year we were getting the raised beds. I don't even think we had raised beds in our maybe we had them in our yard by this time but they weren't filled and but like this year is so easy because like we just had to put a little bit of extra soil in them and then go for it so it's just like every year you get a little bit more established and it makes it a little bit easier and i can see how in 10 years it's not going to be that difficult to to do this 